Teams Calls focuses on voice or audio calls. You can actually use Teams Calls as your main VoIP telephone system, but we're just going to give you a brief overview of the tab in this video. To the left, we start with our contacts. You can use the search bar to find contacts. If someone isn't a known or saved contact of yours, you simply type their number into the search bar and press call. Below this, you have a parked calls button. If you park a call on one device, Teams will give you a unique code to pick it up on another. You simply click this button and type in the code. Below this, you then have forwarding options and your mic and speaker options. Both options have a button to take you to the main settings. In the middle, you have your call history. You can filter these at the top. If you hover over a call in your history, you can use the more options to call them back, start a chat, remove them from your history and add them to speed dial or contacts. You also have this quick call back button here. If you want to access your voicemail, there's a button for it here above your history. To the right, you have your speed dial. You can add people with this plus button. If you hover over those in your speed dial, you can quick video or audio call them and the more options allows you to remove them from your speed dial or add or remove them from your contacts. Above this, there is a view contacts button. This will open an app called People. Here you can see all your contacts and any you've added to your favorites. You can also create categories for your contacts to make it easy to find different contact groups. If you hover over a contact, you can quickly chat or audio call them and the more options allows you to edit their contact, add them to favorites or categories and gives you different contact options. That's an overview of calls. This video is part of an introductory series to the Teams desktop application. In the next video, we look at the OneDrive tab.